Would you rather work for an organization that ignores communication barriers, or would you rather work for an organization that takes them head on? Hello, my name is Crystal Melcher, and today I'm going to be speaking about the iceberg model and how it relates to my work at Shop and Save. We all know the infamous story about the Titanic and how it crashed into the huge iceberg, but do we know why? Probably because the captain was looking ahead and not under the water. As a leader using the iceberg model, you need to be looking at all angles of the problem. The iceberg model has four levels to it. The first level is called conceptual analysis. At this level, the leader should know everything that they need to know about the employee's background and also the information about the roles surrounding the organization. Leaders at this level should be asking themselves questions such as, will key relationships be affected? The second level is called audience analysis. This involves viewing your employees and how they will view the change. Leaders should be asking themselves questions at this stage such as, how will each group be affected by the change? Will be, they be affected differently? The same will some people not even be affected at all? The third level is called strategic design. It involves how to communicate the change to the employees. The strategy involves setting global communication objectives, selecting messages, and also developing a timeline. How long do you want this change to last? How long do you think it'll take to implement them? Things like that. At this level, employees and leaders should be asking themselves questions such as, what are the common objectives shared by all of the audiences? The last level is called tactical preparation. This level involves implementing the change. There are five areas that surround this development, and they are channels, which are ways that you would like people to communicate with you via email, face-to-face, -face, etc., messages, safety valves, timing, and also a spokesperson. At this level, leaders should be asking themselves, what are the key messages that I'm trying to get across to all my employees? At Shop and Saves, I have meetings with all of my employees, my cashiers, and also my office employees. That is who I run at the store. I'm in charge of all of them. We have a meeting every last Saturday of the month, and we, at our meetings, we discuss anything from changes that are happening to new policies that are being implemented, um, anything like that, anything we're raising money for, etc., etc. At this time, cashiers can tell me if they're having a problem with anything, if they think that they need more training in a certain aspect, and we also hand out awards at this meeting, and it's just a big thing where anyone, it's just an open forum, anything anyone has to say or has a problem with, now is the time to bring it up. I noticed at our meetings that we were bringing up issues that didn't really involve me and how I had no way of fixing them. I can go and tell the other departments that they're doing something wrong, but there's no way for me to make sure that that happens. Um, this is where I got my idea for the iceberg model, and that's what I'm going to talk about. How to break that communication barrier between my crew and also the people that are in the back of the store that I don't manage. I decided that effective communication is needed in any workplace. You need to be able to work as a team. Even the people that you are managing, you might need to communicate with them someday. Um, a good example of why I want this to work is because at our meetings we realized that the meat was not being weighed properly. Um, a two pound thing of meat maybe came through the register at a half pound. That's a lot of money that I'm losing every single day and I'm not able to meet my goals as a manager so I need to make sure that this gets fixed immediately. At this meeting I went to the meat department, I told them they apologized, they said that they would check into it. The next day the same thing kept happening. I went back, told them nothing was done about it. So to implement this change I want all of the department heads at my meetings. There are two department heads in every um, department. We have frozen, grocery, meat, seafood, bakery, deli, and I think that's it. I think I got them all. There are six departments. Um, I want the department managers there because I know if I directly manager to manager tell them that we're having this issue it will get done. Whenever in the past we used to have a problem, the managers were never there when I was working. So we need to make sure that we're meeting at a specific time so we can get these type of problems fixed immediately. Um, fast is a word that is used in all businesses now. They want things done now. They don't want them done tomorrow. We cannot wait. We're losing money and we need to fix this problem now. 
um, I decided that it was a change. It was time for a change, and we needed these employees to be at the meetings. It is going to affect 12 people, like I said. They are going to need to be at all of the meetings, and I want them there just so we can discuss any issues that we're having. And then, like I said, we will solve it right then and there. Um, using the first level of the iceberg model, conceptual analysis, I will make sure that this change is manageable for all employees. I know that it will be because, like I said, department heads will be able to join our meetings because they will already be at the store. Um, when we have our meetings, all the department heads are always there on Saturday mornings because that's when we get our truck and they need to load everything up and I know that they're there so I'll, know, I'll be able to seal them through that hour and tell them what's going on. Using the second level of the iceberg model, audience analysis, and we'll need to determine who will be affected by the change. This includes the two department heads, which equals 12 people. I'm going to implement this change by first meeting with these 12 people and discussing why I think it's important for them to come. Then at March's meeting, I can explain to the cashiers and office employees that starting in April, we will be having new guests at our meeting um, to join us so we can go over anything that we need to go over with them right then and there. This gives all parties involved a whole month to collect their thoughts about what they want to share at the meeting. Using the third level of the iceberg model, strategic design, I want my employees to understand that core messages that go along with the change. I want them to understand that we are changing because we need more effective communication amongst departments. I really do believe that all employees will accept this change with open arms because no one is being inconvenienced by it. It's going to help all parties involved, especially the store as a whole. The last step of the iceberg model is tactical preparations. At this level, I want my employees to know that as a leader, I saw an issue with the lack of attendance in meetings and I'm taking care of this problem by making a change and making it fast. I know that my employees will appreciate this change and expect me as a leader for including more employees in our discussions. In conclusion, the iceberg model helps leaders have steps to follow that will keep them organized when implementing a change. I know that making a change is very stressful to a lot of people, but I think that if you follow the iceberg model, it allows it to be smooth sailing for you, and it's a really great model to follow. By making this change, I think that our store's communication skills will be a lot more effective and bring in a whole new meeting to teamwork, and hopefully we get these problems solved. Thank you for listening, and I hope that someday you use the iceberg model in making a change.